Hi, welcome along to another video. Going to do another coronavirus special. Now, this is related to personal experience. Going to recover some of the stuff from April 2020 to do with the first shielding list and then move on to more recently with the recent lockdown and the recent shielding list in November 2020. So this all originally started in April after receiving a letter from my GP it basically explained that I was on a shielding list because I was at risk of coronavirus and at the time I took the necessary precautions just in case it's all very unknown but I didn't believe what I was reading didn't trust it at all didn't make sense to me after receiving the letter for about the following week I was bombarded with calls from a government agency dealing with it trying to get me to sign up to some website so I ended up contacting my doctor, asking why I, why was I on this list, and just trying to find out some more information. My doctor replied, after looking into it, with I should absolutely not be on this list. It wasn't a case of, oh no, you shouldn't be on the list. It was, I should absolutely not be on this list, and I have been removed from the list. So therefore, I should be left alone now and I thought that was the end of that and that all came to light via media stories of doctors reporting that some people are on the list and shouldn't be and some people who should be on the list aren't so it was a complete chaos and it's also a government list and not a NHS list so then we came up to the November lockdown and the shielding list and I received emails letters saying the same thing so on a new list, after I've been removed from a list, I'm now on a new list. I contacted my doctor again, asking why I was on this list again, etc. Can you remove me, etc. And the reply this time was, this list has nothing to do with us. They do not have the ability to remove people from the list. So I got in touch with the government department that sent out the letters in the name of the NHS, usual stuff and they got back to me saying the shielded patient list is generated by an algorithm it's approved by the chief medical officer of England but the whole point of that is it's an algorithm which means it's computer generated so it's a computer generated list for the government and then they finish up with something that's extremely worrying we are unable to add or remove individual patients from the list so it's a computer generated list for the government the clinically extremely vulnerable patients who cannot be added to or removed from the list so it's a government generated list that you cannot be removed from it gives certain guidelines and if you break those guidelines you will be fined which has happened to people we all have mobile phones so you have to leave your phone at home now because you don't want to be tracked when you're going out so you can't take your phone out with you anymore Okay, the lockdown has just ended. That's the reality of it in the UK. And it doesn't matter whether you feel you're, you should be on this list or not on this list. The fact is, is the government has generated a list that people can't be removed from. Now, my understanding is, is that I live in England in 2020. I do not live in 1930s Nazi Germany. Maybe I've misunderstood something about who won the Second World War. Who knows? Maybe that's completely acceptable in a 21st century society is that governments can create a list and put you on it and you can't be taken off of it, no matter what. When you hear the British government talk about Russia or China or other countries, they're doing the same. The British government is doing no different than what they accuse other governments of. And just in case you really haven't understood what's going on here, that's fascism, okay? There is no other term for a government list that people can't be removed from when they're not supposed to be on the list. It's fascism.